In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss a few problems based on area, perimeter of a square, rectangle, circle and all. The first problem says a square and a rectangular field with measurements as given in the figure have the same perimeter. So this is a square and this is a rectangle. These two figures have the same perimeter. Which field has a larger area? So you have to tell, even though the perimeters are the same, but which of these two fields has the larger area? Now in this case of the square, here the length of the measurement of this side is 60 meter. It means that all the sides will have the same measurement that is 60 meter. So this will also be 60 meter because in the case of the square, all the sides are of equal measurements, right? This is a rectangle, this is 80 meter, but in the case of the rectangle, length and breadth are not equal. So let's denote the breadth by B. Let's say that this is B. Now you have to calculate B. Only then you can, you can calculate the area of this rectangle, right? Okay. Let's denote the perimeter of this square by P1 and the perimeter of this rectangle by P2. Now we know that P1 is equal to P2. What's P1? P1 is 4 times A. A is what? A is the length of a side of a square, right? This plus this plus this plus this. That is 4 times A. So this is 4 times 60 meter. That is 240 meter. Now P2 will be what? 2 times length plus breadth. This is the formula for the perimeter of the rectangle. So this is equal to 2 times length plus breadth length here is 80 meter plus b right now we know that p1 is equal to p2 so from this we get 2 times 80 meter plus b is equal to 240 meter if you solve this you'll get b is equal to 40 meter now since b is equal to 40 meter B is equal to 40 meter. Now we can easily calculate the area of this rectangle. Let's denote the area of this rectangle by A2. So A2 will be equal to length multiplied by breadth. That is length is 80 meter multiplied by breadth is 40 meter. This here you get 3200 meter squared. Let's denote this area by A1 and let's say that this is 60 meter. So area of the area of a square is given by a square so in this case you have 60 meter squared so this is equal to 3600 meter squared this is 3600 meter squared and this is 3200 meter squared when you'll compare these two this area that is a1 is greater than a2 this is the larger area the shape of a garden is rectangular in the middle and semicircular at the ends as shown in the diagram. So this whole figure represents a garden and the central part of this garden is of the rectangular shape and at the two ends we have two semicircles. Now of course these two are of the same area. The measurements of these two semicircles is, are the same. Okay. Find the area and the perimeter of this garden. So you have to find the area of this garden and the perimeter of this garden. First, let's deal with this area, with this area. Now, the area means what in this case? Area of this semicircle plus area of this rectangle plus area of this semicircle, right? Semicircle, rectangle, and then again semicircle. Now, we know that the area of a circle is given by pi r squared, pi r squared. So if the area of a circle is given by pi r squared, then what will be the formula for the area of the semicircle? Of course, that will be half pi r squared. Okay, so half pi r squared in this case and half pi r squared in this case. Of course, the radii of these two semicircles are, the, are of equal measurements because the area of these two semicircles are equal. Right? It means that half pi r squared plus half pi r squared. 
So this will give you pi r squared. Okay, this area plus this area will give you pi r squared. Let's put it here. Pi r squared. Okay, plus the area of this rectangle. So area of a rectangle is given by length multiplied by breadth. Right? Okay. Now, if you take the value of pi as 22 by 7, so if you put here 22 by 7 and multiply it by, what's r in this case? Now, this hole is 7 meter. Of course, if you, you uh, focus on this semicircle, now this 7 meter that is actually the breadth of this rectangle is actually the diameter of this semicircle. So if this is a diameter, what will be the radius? Radius will be the half of it because radius is equal to diameter divided by two. It means that what? It will give you 3.5 meter. So 3.5 meter squared, right? Plus, now in this case, you have to tell what will be the length. So you will say the length is actually equal to, you can say that length is actually equal to 20 meter, no because this hole is 20 meter from this end to this end this is 20 meter not this length so if this is the length how you will calculate the length well that's really very easy let's say that this is the center of this semicircle and in this case this is the center of this semicircle now of course if you join if you draw a straight line from this center to here and same thing here so this not a straight line let me draw a straight line okay so tell me isn't it the radius of this semicircle so this is actually what 3.5 meter and this is also equal to 3.5 meter right 3.5 and 3.5. Now, if you have to tell the length, so length will be what actually? 20 minus this, 20 minus, if you subtract this plus this, the this portion and this length, that is 3.5 plus 3.5. Because we only need this side, this length, right? We don't need this one and we don't need this length. So if you subtract from 20, this length plus this length, you will get the length of this rectangle. So this gives you 13 meter. So the length in this case comes as 13 meter. Okay, now put 13 here, 13 meter multiplied by breadth is seven meter. Now, when you solve this, when you solve this, you will get area you will get as 129.5 meter squared. If you solve it, you will get this one. Now let's talk about the perimeter. So perimeter in this case, perimeter in this case will be what? Will be, let's show it first here. Let me highlight this. Say that this. So perimeter will be this length, this boundary length, this boundary length, right? So this plus this, and then the perimeter of this semicircle. And the perimeter of this semicircle because perimeter represents the boundary of any figure so the boundary of in this case is actually the length of this rectangle this side plus this side and then the perimeter of this semicircle and the perimeter of this semicircle now if you try to calculate it what's the formula for the perimeter of the circle the formula for the perimeter of a circle is given by 2 pi r 
right? 2 pi r. So if this is the formula for the perimeter of a circle, what will be the formula for the perimeter of a semicircle? Of course, that will be half multiplied by 2 pi r. That is pi r. Okay. So if the perimeter of this semicircle is pi r, then the perimeter of this circle will also be pi r, right? This portion will also be pi r. So this is pi r, you will have another pi r. So if you add them together, you will get what? 2 pi r. That is, the peri this perimeter plus this perimeter is actually what? 2 pi r. Okay, so let's write it here. 2 pi r plus this length plus this length. That is L plus L. If you represent it by L, so L plus L. Now, if you put here, these values here, 2 multiplied by pi as 22 by 7, r as 3.5, then plus L plus L means 13 plus 13 is 26, right? That is now meter in this case. If you solve this, you get 48 meter. This will be the perimeter. An ant is moving around a few food pieces of different shapes scattered on the floor. For which food piece would the ant have to take the longer round? So imagine that you have an ant, okay, and it's actually you have some food pieces here of different sizes and shapes, okay. So if this ant revolves around this, uh, sorry, take around around each of these food pieces in different shapes, in different figures. Like in this case, you have, th this is the uh, path that ant takes around this food piece. In the same way, there's another food piece. And when ant moves around that food piece, the figure that it draws is actually like this. Now you have to tell, for which food piece would the ant have to take the longer round? Okay. So in this case, again, it's all about perimeter. Because if you have to tell that which is the larger, you know, round, then longer round, in that case, it's actually talking about the perimeter. Because let's say that the ant is here. So if ant starts from here, and moves from here to here, then again back to this original position. In the same case, if your ant was here, it starts from here and moves in this, in this shape and finally comes at this position. So you have to tell that it's all about perimeter. Okay, let's deal with this one. This is 2.8 centimeter. What will be this one? What will be this one? Because the perimeter is this, the perimeter of this semicircle plus the perimeter plus this length. Okay, this length is 2.8 centimeter, right? Plus the perimeter, the formula for the perimeter of a semicircle is actually what? Pi r. We saw it here, right? So it means that this is pi r. Now, what will be the radius of this semicircle? Of course, it will be half of 2.8. It will be half of 2.8. Why? Because 2.8 will be the diameter. Now, this is 2.8 centimeter plus 22 by 7. Multi the value of pi we take as 22 by 7. And then you have radius as what? The radius is again 1.4. This is 1.4. Right? So this is 2 point, now this is centimeter, 2.8 centimeter plus this is 22 multiplied by 0.2 centimeter. Now if you solve this, you get 2.8 centimeter plus 4.4 centimeter. Now from here, if you calculate this, you get 7.2 centimeter. In this case, 
this the ant will when will move around this food piece the perimeter comes as 7.2 cm now let's talk about this one now in this case the perimeter is the perimeter of this semicircle and then plus this side plus this side and plus this side right this will be the boundary of this figure this is actually what the perimeter of a semicircle again the diameter is 2.8 centimeter diameter is 2.8 centimeter it means that radius will be 1.4 centimeter okay so again the the perimeter of this semicircle will be equal to pi r that is 4.4 centimeter so 4.4 centimeter plus this is 1.5 centimeter plus this is 2.8 centimeter right from here till here it's 2.8 so this is 2.8 centimeter and then this is again 1.5 centimeter 1.5 centimeter if you solve this you get this is 4.4 so this gives you if you add this and this you'll get 7.2 centimeter plus this is 3 centimeter from here you get 10.2 centimeter okay so this is 10.2 centimeter now what about this case in this case perimeter of this semicircle plus this side and plus this side okay so this is 2.8 again this is the perimeter of this semicircle the perimeter of this semicircle is actually equal to what 4.4 centimeter why because the diameter is again the same in this figure also that is 2.8 so the perimeter of this semicircle is actually equal to 4.4 centimeter okay plus this that is 2 centimeter plus this that is 2 centimeter so this perimeter this side plus this side makes the boundary of this figure if you solve this you get 8.4 centimeter so for which food piece would the ant have to take the longer round so if we say that this is b this is a and this is c so for this figure the ant has to take the longer round